lymphoma, but called non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma, uh, which is includes large diverse group of cancers of immune system cells and divided into either cancer half indolent that is means slow growing over years and other one called aggressive that is mean fast growing and these subtype have behave and behave and respond to treatment differently and can occur in children adults prognosis and treatment depend on the subtype so both of them can, uh, it is present in the old and in the younger patient. Uh, now, staging of that non Hodgkin lymphoma, it is different from the staging by the name actually uh, from Hodgkin lymphoma, but look like it is the same uh, classification. Here it is called an arbor staging. Stage one, same of the Hodgkin lymphoma, the single lymph node. Single area stage two, two or more lymph node in the same side of diaphragm. Stage three, it is both side of diaphragm, upper and lower, may be sibling involved, plus minus, and disseminated in stage four. And there are symptom criteria B and A and B. A that is mean absent of night sweat, weight loss, and fever. B it is included that these symptoms that mean night sweating and fever and weight loss. So, a staging of follicular lymphoma has important in clinical application. Why? Because stage 1 and stage 2, that is localized stage. So, potentially, there is a curative. I mean, patient can treat it. Stage 3, stage 4, advanced, it is non-curative. That is mean patient just will go with the symptomatic treatment. That is mean why staging is very important in patient. Now, how we could reach the diagnosis? We reach the diagnosis like other disease, firstly by history, from medical view, uh, looking for the night sweat, looking for the weight loss, fever, infection, physical examination for the lymph node, and the status for that lymph node, also for the spleen, liver, but, uh, about the size, and about what is happening if you take the oxygenal biopsy. Here we must be avoid FNA if possible. Also looking for the blood uh, sample for CBC and from the uh, electrolyte, imagining ultrasonography, CT, X ray, liver function, serum LDH, uric acid, protein electrophoresis, and bone marrow biopsy if looking for the metastasis to the. So, for a treatment of non Hodgkin lymphoma, as I said, there is indolent types and there is aggressive type. So, for indolent or aggressive, uh, for indolent type, he do need to discuss with the patient and what is the age of the patient. If we go to the watch and wait or go with the treatment, if it's stage one and stage two or stage three and stage four, here must be uh, this type of lymphoma must be discussed uh, with the patient and what is used chemotherapy or radiation alone or chemotherapy plus uh, radiation. And generally, Localized stage, I mean stage one, stage two here, uh, it is called inverted field radiation is a standard of care. The strategies are tested to combine local irradiation with systemic uh, rituximab. Antibody treatment as uh, relapse rate is high in airborne stage two. So in stage two, I mean in localized, we can combine by just uh, use monoclonal antibody rituximab plus irradiation. Radiation which is called name involved radiation that is up down involved radiation while if you go to the advance so in advance uh, patient may be survival just wait wait and watch and uh, just treating as separate treatment because if it metastasizes to the bone marrow or to the uh, spine or to the brain uh, no no benefit from the chemotherapy or rituximab need to just for separative uh, so we know what is meaning aggressive we mentioned aggressive so aggressive that is mean the non hodgkin lymphoma with a high number of immature blastoid cells that destroyed of all architectures of lymph node with high proliferation index and rapid growth uh, this if this uh, this uh, features or characteristic features, if it is a present, we need a rapid treatment because we to stop uh, the proliferation and stop destroyed more uh, lymph node. So uh, the more aggressive one which is called here sporadic or endemic with the disease called Borkit lymphoma. Borkit lymphoma, one aggressive one. Actually, this disease is due to the 
ابيشتاون بار فايروس سو هاو وي كان تريت ذيس اجريسيف تريت اجريسيف هوشكل لينفوما اجريسيف هوشكل لينفوما with that features previous slide treatment with the combined chemotherapy protocol called CHOP C H O P called CHOP or some instance we added R rituximab so it is called R CHOP regimen R CHOP regimen and this R CHOP regimen comprised from the C C which is called cyclophosphamide here cyclophosphamide one of alkylating agent H is hydroxy Robin also called doxorubicin or adriamycin group and O it is vinicristine and P prednisolone. So this is chop. We can add it if it is positive. So uh, this just in briefly what you must be know about Hodgkin and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. So before after this slide slides or video you can find the link for the PDF for all of these lectures. So if you have any question or you have any comment, please contact me with my Facebook or WhatsApp Viper email. Thank you very much.